I've been playing Spider-Man 2 on PS5. Uh, of course, uh, Spider-Man, the video game, uh, the current sort of run of Spider-Man video games came out on PS4 years ago. Um, and it was developed by Insomniac, which are a great game development studio. But Spider-Man on PS4, I remember playing it for the first time and being like, wow, this is the best game I've ever played in my life. Still think that. If you've played it, you know exactly what I'm about to say. The way it feels to just swing around a life-size New York City in that game is amazing. It's a fantastic game. Then they did a, a small like follow-up called Spider-Man Miles Morales, um, where you play as Miles Morales, the other Spider-Man. Also was really fun, but like didn't build heaps off the original game, but it was still like a great like extension. Then they announced Spider-Man 2 for PS5. And I remember thinking, I don't know, because how are they really going to expand on the first game? Like, so much of that game, if you've played it, is just enjoying swinging around New York, solving crimes, not solving crimes, fighting crimes, and exploring stuff, right? It's just the feeling of moving around the city, beating people up, sticking them to webs and shit like that, right? And I was like, I, I don't think if they just did that again it would be like as good. Like, would it be, it would just be sort of the same game again. I was wrong because they've added so much stuff and it feels amazing. And it like runs even smoother on PS5. And now you can swap between Peter Parker and Mars Morales. I've only played for a few hours. No, no, sorry. I've played for like probably five or six hours and I have barely done any of the story because I've literally, as I said, just been swinging around. Now a bigger New York, just swinging around, fighting crime, just being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. It is just, it's the closest thing you'll ever get to being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man in real life, this game. It is epic, I love it so much. I did have one funny take on the Spider-Man 2 game. My heart goes out to all of the people in Spider-Man, the video game, that you are definitely murdering during the game. Hear me out. And I understand that in video games, you need to have some suspension of disbelief. Like you need to be able to fight a bunch of baddies to keep the game interesting. Like lots of baddies and you just need to fight them, right? But then I always think when I'm playing it, okay, what I just did to that guy, this thug who's robbing a bank, what I just did to him as Spider-Man, he definitely is dead. I have definitely murdered this guy. Like, sometimes Spider-Man in the game, you're like smashing their heads against the ground or, you know, you're, you're shooting webs at them and then using a gadget that like shoots lasers into them. Um, and then there's times where you're like fighting on the roof of a building and then you can just throw a guy off a building with your webs. And everyone's like, oh, Spider-Man, thanks for saving us, you're a hero. But then I'm like, no, I have just murdered all of these people. Okay, they're criminals, but I've murdered them. I've certainly taken the law into my old hand, into my own hands. It's like, you, I, and I'm now struggling to suspend the disbelief because as far as I know, my Spider-Man is going on a murderous rampage and just killing people, slamming their heads onto concrete floors, throwing them off buildings, throwing them into water and, and they like, there's one part of the story where you're fighting on a boat and you can web you can web people up so they're tangled up in a web and can't move and then you can pick them up and throw them in the water and they're definitely drowning <laughs> like there's no way they're not drowning so i'm really struggling to suspend my disbelief but i've thought that before i remember playing this game called uncharted on ps4 where you're like this good guy kind of explorer and throughout the game like people are trying to hurt you and you're just killing them with your gun. You're just shooting them to death and you're the hero in the game. But like if anyone in real life actually did this, even if they were a hero or a good guy, you can't just murder people. Like, but it's like for the sake of the game, you have to be able to murder people. But at the same time, the player has to suspend a lot of disbelief. And I think it's harder because they're, the games are so realistic now. Like if it was just like an 8-bit game, you don't you don't even think of them as people, but you're, you're just murdering real people, real thugs, real criminals. You're just murdering them.